What's up guys? This is uh, Team Dream Shooters here again. After two years? Three years? Two? Two years. Uh, and I'm uh, playing Buddy Fight now. Kind of got bored of Vanguard, but I still do play Vanguard. Uh, I'll probably release a new video back around when the set in the summer comes out for English. But for now, uh, I decided to get this to start off with a um, Buddy Fight stuff. This is the... Um, Three, Garga Dex Impact Triple Punisher Start Deck, which comes for Buddy Fight, Future Card Buddy Fight Ace. It comes with three decks, and this is a little bit of a deck box, deck duck holder thing. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty good. Let me get a little comparison. Here is a, here's just a little bit of comparison of how big the box is. So you got one, probably fit one, what is it, one, two, about three of these in here. These are like the... Bigger size Bushy Road boxes. Uh, yeah. And uh, I'll just open it. On the side here, we have these. These are known as the Worlds in Buddy Fight. So if you're watching this, you probably already know. Magic World, uh, Dragon World, and Katana World. On the back here, we have some sort of gargantua dragon, guys. Well, that's what it says here. Um, gargantua dragon, guys. But yeah, let's just open it up here. Uh... What is this? Start with this first. Go to the side. What we got in here? Let's see. Uh, in this plastic wrapping, we got what are these life counters? And I believe this is just a paper playmat for two people. Wow, this is pretty cool. Too bad I have no one to play with. Just kidding. Uh, but yeah, it would be. I guess it'd be ideal to have two people to play with if you. We're gonna use these counters, but I uh, don't really care about that stuff too much. Just more about the cards. Uh, I don't know what this is. What is this? Uh, cutting hole puncture. Uh, I don't want to open this, but uh, if you know what this is, you can tell me in the comments below. I'm really not sure what this is. Uh, but I don't want to open it. Uh, yeah, and then inside here. We have this piece of plastic, uh, nothing too much. Uh, then we have the decks in here, that's what matters. Three decks, and just some plastic with some other stuff, nothing else in it. Move that out of the way. And here we have the three, what are these called? Gargantua dragon uh, deck things. Uh, we'll start with this orange one. This orange one looks pretty cool. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so we open this right here. Alright, so let me slide this out. Alright, cool. Uh huh. Alright, so this is some sort of hollow. I'm gonna say at the bottom, but uh, it's called. What is this? Gargantua Flare Mage. Alright, so you can read it right there. It's a size two, seven, two, six, call cost. Put a card from your drop zone into the soul and pay two gauge. So drop zone into the soul. So put a card from the drop into the soul and pay two. Okay, okay. And when it attacks, put a self from your drop zone on the bottom of your deck. If you do for this turn, this unit gets double attack. And this, if it's on the soul of a GFO, gets quadra attack and move in soul guard. That's just pretty cool. And then behind it, I have, oh shoot, there's like something down here. A Gargantua Ice Mage. Pay two gauge and put the top card into the soul. Size two, six, two, six. And when it enters the field, gain two life. Then if it's entered by Giavo, plus three. Pretty cool. What is this? Gargantua Punisher Deity? Deity Gargantua Punisher? All right, so this says right here. Uh, you may want to cast this card if you have a cast a spell during this turn and your opponent's five or less and you have a drag god on the field <coughs> Pay to gauge deal five damage to your opponent and this card cannot be nullified and its damage cannot be reduced All right, pretty cool. So those are the hollows of the deck. I guess so if there's anything else hidden Doesn't look like it. Oh shoot. Why are there so many of these? Uh, what is this anyways? This is Gargantua Flare Mage. Also, oh, this is the main one, but in uh, 
not this cool hollow rarity. You get four of that. And what is this? Gargantua Dragon. You get four of these, and this guy is, you may use this card with all effects, a size two, seven, two, four, I mean, all flags. And uh, call cost, pay one gauge and put the top card of the deck into the soul. G Evo, at the end of the battle of this card, uh, of this card, call up to one Dragon Monster from the hand on top without paying its call cost. Is that what G Evo, G -Evo is? Oh, I guess so. Pretty cool. And this is called Daybreak Roar, Gargantua Dragon, 625. You may use this all flags, pay one gauge, put the top into the soul. When it attacks, even their GD Dragon on the field, draw a card. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's a 625. G Evo, at the same thing as this guy. Two, three, four. Oh, he's not a magic guy either. Weird. Okay. Next is a Sorcery DD Dragon. <clears throat> Belberos. Call cost. Pay one gauge. Put the top card of the deck into the soul. When he casts a spell, gain a life. And for the turn, he gets penetrate and counterattack. Activates once per turn. 7 2 2. Size 2. Gargantua Ice Mage. Oh, it's this card. You get two of that. Uh, pay two gauge, put top card in deck and soul, and enters the field, gain two life. Then if it's Gevo, oh, I read through that. <laughs> I was like, I feel like I read this already. Magic cat, heat magic. When you cast a spell, put the top two into the gauge, and oh, that's pretty cool. So you just charge two if you cast a spell. If you have a dragon on the field, all D to get plus two, and you get two of that. Transmitter and magic dog. You only cast call once per turn. When this card enters the field, uh, add. Drop a DD from the hand. If you do, charge and draw two. Oh, that's pretty cool. Synthesis failed. Magi Bird. When this card attacks, put a card into your drop zone. If the monster your field, if you do, draw a card. So Ditch is sold the draw, draw card. Pretty cool. Uh, was it? Five, three, two, oh, it's a size one. Hi. Von Sage, Sorcery DD Dragon. When it enters the field, you gain a life. If you have another drag, Dragon DD Dragon Tribe on the field, bounce. Two, two, one. You get four of that. One, two, three, four. Okay, but you don't get any of those animals. Weird. Olu Owl. When it enters the field, to the drag on the drop, a uh, pay gauge, and get it back into your hand. Three, one, one. Size zero. All right, what is this spell? Nice one. Pay one gauge, draw two. All right, nice. Nice one. Haha. <laughs> uh, what is this? Teachings of the Fighting Emperor. Put the top card of your gauge for each three dragon on your field. If you have a dragon on the field, draw a card. So you can like basically charge three and draw a card. Pretty cool. This one's called, uh, what is this? God Magic T040. Counter, use the following two. Either stand a dragon or give a dragon crit plus one and penetrate. What is this? You may cast this to your three or more spells in your drop zone. Return a card from your opponent's field to the hand. So bounce. Protect magic. Only if you have the DD dragon tribe on the field. Cast cost, put a spell from your drop to the bottom of the deck, no fight attack, and charge and draw. And you get four of that. This is called Protect Magic. Great spell of the DD Dragon. At the start of your opponent's turn, choose a spell in your drop, put it into your hand. If you uh, drop a card from hand, and then get that to your hand. So basically, ditch to get that. All DD get plus one power and defense. You only have one set. Okay, coolio. What is this? Equip one page, and you cast a spell, it gets crit plus two and penetrate. Oh, it's a 7 1. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. And what is this called? Spiral Ur Nigus. Ur, Ur Ignis. Ur, Ur Ignis. Cast if it's 4 or less. Put a spell and deal 4. Pretty alright. And then this is uh, some. I don't know what his name is. But he's on the. He's the main character and he's on the flag. That's pretty cool. Alright, so this is the magic deck. Next is the uh, Katana. Oh. This one looks really cool. I think this one's gonna be my favorite. Uh, I was watching the show and he goes like, a sun oh, or something like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, never do that again. Great. Can't get that out. All right. Cool. What do you find? Oh, I like how the backing of the cards is like SP feeling. If you play Vanguard, if you know what I mean. All right. So the main card of this one's gonna be Gargantua Jiraira Dragon. All right. So this call cost is put a card from the drop into the soul and pay two gauge same as the flare mage and when this enters the field pay one gauge put the top two cards of the deck into uh deck into this face down on the field as oh they look like drag god size zero six power six defense two crit so six two six same stats as this guy 
oh cool they're like tokens and if you have a gfo all monsters of the field gain a crit and 3k power pretty cool all right gargantua kira Ga kira kiri ga kiri ga kure dragon oh i like the little ninja thing post he's doing here uh Pay two gauge, put the top into the soul. When it enters the field, put up to one ninja arts from your deck into your hand, shuffle your deck, and if it's by G Evo, gain two life and deal two damage. So basically, like, stealing two life. What is this? DD, Gargantua Punisher. If your opponent's five or less, and you have a dragon monster in your field, and the total power of your cards is 12 or greater, pay two. Is that the same as this one? I think this is different. Oh, uh, yeah, it's cast a spell. All right, so I think this one's pretty cool, though. Uh, what is this? Same thing, but it's Katana World. Katana World. Katana. All right. And what is this? Gargantua Jiraiya. Oh, so it's the green one. All right. Gargantua Dragon again. And the Daybreak Roar Gargantua Dragon again. The Gir Kiri Gakure. You get three of those. Pretty all right. Oh, it's the bird thing again? What the heck? What the bird's in here? Oh, that's crazy. All right. So this is a... Uh, Knives, Ninja Technique, Nimbird. You only cost one Nimbird once per turn. When a Dragon enters your field, you may drop a hand. If you do, gain two life. Look at the top three cards. Put one into the hand and put the rest of the bottom deck in the order. All right, not bad, not bad. Two of those. Flash of Momoji, Nincat. All right, uh, when it attacks, choose the two Ninja from different names from your drop zone. And you may drop a card to add those two. Pretty cool. So ditch one, add two. So that's a plus one. Uh, when this card enters the field, put the top part of your deck into the gauge. So charge one for everything on the field. There's a card like that in here. Uh, we're reading that. Shadow Dive. Can attack even if there's something in the center. Uh, if you have a drag on your field, it gets plus two crits. So it's a three to the face. Pretty cool. You get four of those. His name is DD Dragon Ninja Musashi. Musashi sounds pretty familiar. When this card enters the field, you may drop a card and then... Choose one from the drop and add that to your hand. DD Dragon Low Rank Ninja Kogarashimaru. Koga Kogashimaru. Kogarashima <coughs> Mewdo, something like that. Oh, uh, when a card is dropped from the hand, put up cardio deck into the gauge and gain a life. So charge and recover one. And at the battle end of the battle, so you get to attack and bounce. This is a DD low rank dragon, Kara Kazemaru. Futon Sweeping Whirlwind. Put a ninja from your drop zone into the hand. When this card is dropped from the hand by effect, put the top card uh, charge and draw. Ninja Arts Hidden in Falling Leaves. Counter. Gain three life. When this card is dropped by the effect, gain one life and draw. So cover one and draw. Counter. Return a size to or less monster or a spell from your opponent's field to the hand. So bounce something, basically. And when this card is returned by the effects of uh, just a card on your opponent's field and pay a life and bounce it again. So this is all. Just a bounce crazy card. Uh, DD Dragon Futon. Gale Blade. What is this? Combat Rations. Gar Rice. You only cast the Dragon in your center. Total power is 12 or greater. Uh, draw two. Not bad. Not bad. Plus two. When this, or plus one, basically. When this is uh, during the attack of your opponent, nullify the attack, drop a card from your hand, and put top two into the gauge and draw. So charge two and draw. DD Dragon Wrist Guard. Gar Claw. Uh, pay one life engage if you have a drag on the field all monsters in your field can be shared by your opponent's card effects and it gets double attack pretty cool oh that's two different weapons this has six different weapons what the heck that's so cool dd dragon kodachi garza subaki pay one gauge and counteract if you bring attack drop a hand card and you reduce the damage by three once per turn and this is the uh, what is it called impacts impacts for the deck this is called DD Dragon Ninja Art, uh, Multiple World Blade. You only cast this if you uh, opponent's life has five or less, and you have a dragon on the field. Pay two gauge, deal damage of your opponent, equal to number of monsters with 6,000 greater power, plus two. Damage cannot be reduced. It's like you have one, two, three. So you can do a total of five damage. That's the same as the Gargantua Puncher. Yeah, that's what it's called. All right. So that's the uh, Ninja World, Katana World, sorry. And last but not least, this is the... Uh, Dragon World one. Pretty cool, I think so. So these are like three complete decks. Uh, for the retail price of like 50, this is not too bad. Not too bad at all, actually. Oh 
Oh shoot, where'd this come from? Oh. Alright, the Dragon World. This is Gargantua Dragon Tempest Mode. Uh, this is a uh, pay to drop. Same thing as the other ones. You just call cost. Uh, put it from the drop and pay to gauge when it enters by G Evo. Uh, it gets crit plus one, and if it attacks three points, it gets so it's a three crit. Holy crap! That's so that's so cool. Daybreak Roar Gargantua Dragon. Oh, so I get a hollow version of that from all the other decks. Oh no! How did I know it was in here? How crazy! Gargantua Dragon Return Mode. Pay two gauge, top to the soul, just like the other ones. Uh, blah, 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 blah. When it enters the field, put the top three cards of your deck, put up to one in the hand, and the, if then enters, put one more in the hand. Is that it? So it's 626. DD Gargantua Dragon, and if both centers are open, and you have a drag on the field, pay two gauge, and f damage again. All right, so this is the Tempest mode. Pretty cool. Gargantua Dragons, the Daybreak Roar, Return Mode, Sturm Guard Dragon, Dragoon, Dragon. Pay one gauge, put the top card of deck into the soul, and it attacks if your life is five or more. This card gets critical and double attack. Gale Garda, when it attacks, if you drag a tie item equipped, it's double attack. Taiyaki is the best, Guard Cat. When you gain life, put the top card of deck into your gauge, and then you gain one life. If you have a dragon on your field, draw a card. Get two of that. Gar Dog in the Sunlight Forest. When this card attacks, if you have no Deity Dragon thing, you gain two life. You get two of that. Garber taking it easy. Act, call to hand. And when it's destroyed, put the top card in deck. Ga uh, charge and gain two. What is this? Garo Sturch. At the end of the battle, uh, at the end of the battle this card, you may put this uh, from the field into the drop and gain two. Gar Run Up. Choose one of the following. Uh, you can either charge two or put a... DD Dragon type from the drop zone into the hand and gain a life. Gar High Ring, you gain a life for each Dragon DD tribe, and then if you have a drag out on the field, you can draw a card. Gar Sangon, Sagan, you may only cast a card if you're being attacked three times or more. If your card's attacked three times or more, gain two life, draw two cards. You get two of that. Fighting Emperor Dragon Shield, nullify the attack. If you have a drag out on the field, put top two and charge, gain two. DD Dragon Shield, nullify, gain three life. Uh, if your opponent's turn, if you have, no, if you have an open center. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, DD Twin Sword, Gar Anthem, pay one gauge. And this card, uh, when you gain life, this card gets plus two crit and double attack. DD Dragon Sword, Gar Cutlass, pay one gauge when this card stands. Uh, st oh, when this attack stand to size one or less. Okay, pretty cool weapon. And what is this called? Gar Blade Blast. You only cast it if your opponent's five is less less, and you attack three or more times this turn. If you drag on the field, gain plus two. Oh, that's a pretty good card. All right, and uh, yeah, that's it. Sorry I rushed that at the end there. I don't want to make it more than like 20 minutes, but yeah. Uh, pretty cool. I think the coolest one out of all of these is probably this mage one. But I think my favorite art is going to be this g Ryra one. Something about it seems really cool. Probably because it's ninjas. Ninjas are always cool. But uh, yeah. That there was the impacts future card buddy fights triple punisher impact start special deck thing oh yeah thank you for watching and this is team dream shooters signing out